middle of nowhere. And look at how wide this road is and how good this road is. It's crazy. How crazy is this road? What the f has been this super wide gravel road that uh So at the end of the last episode, I had just pulled into Mirage Outfitters at kilometer 358. Okay, perfect. Merci. The people were fantastic and the lodge was beautiful. Along with food, lodging and gasoline, they were a fully equipped outfitter. I saw float planes, helicopters and their very own private airfield. After ordering a cold beverage and a warm meal, it was time to get back on the road to at least make it to Brise for the evening. Oh, well, that... I was also impressed that the prices were well within reason for the remoteness. Take care guys. Thank you sir. Cheers. Yeah, bye. At the time, gas prices in the Toronto area were around $1.35 per litre and I had thoughts that it was going to cost between two and two fifty oh. per litre here, but to my surprise the price was only $1.82 per litre. A less than 50 cent price increase for their services was more than reasonable and I will definitely give them my business again next time I'm in the area. After leaving Mirage, the number of cabins or homes dramatically increased and I was actually envious of some of the locations these people had decided to build. This was a set of abandoned buildings that I had seen a fellow YouTuber go through last year. The buildings appeared to be in quite bad condition and I decided not to stop. So I just uh, made a quick uh, pit stop here and uh, needed a break off the bike so I, uh, I pulled some of the extra fuel in. I'm about 110 kilometers now from uh, Mirage, the uh, last outfitter post there. Um, 109.7 to be precise according to the odometer here. Um, yeah, this is kind of what the road's been looking like. There's, I've seen two cars, well, two trucks since I left. Uh, one passing me, uh, going the opposite direction. The other one was pulled off from the side of the road. It looks like they were stopped at a uh, uh, some kind of uh, waterfall-ish uh, running water area, probably down in fishing or something. But I didn't actually see the people, so. Uh, it's pretty remote here now, uh, not a lot going on, it's so super quiet, like I just took this in. Isn't that amazing? Check 
nobody, nothing. And we still have more to go. So I'm going to keep going down the road. My hope is to make uh, Brisbane by uh, night's end, uh, which is uh, totally doable at this point. I'm just uh, taking my time, about 60 kilometers an hour here and there, just as long, as fast as the road will let me. And uh, it's going pretty smooth. Um, not uh, a lot of different scenery at this point. The scenery's kind of stayed the same, but, uh, oh, there's the sun. But, uh, so I'm just kind of taking my time watching the road and uh, things are going smooth so far today. Try not to have any mishaps like the last couple of days, so. All right, back on the road. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Check for traffic, check your blind spot. This was one of, if not the most beautiful spot along the Trans Tega. And of course the cameras here do not do it justice. The sign gave the gradient for this hill, although I can't recall it now. It was very steep however, and definitely the steepest in the area. The view was absolutely stunning. I wish I had better camera equipment to show just how breathtaking this section of the Trans Tango was. After the Pontus River campground at kilometer 203, there are no more formal rest areas or campgrounds, so from here on in, I was going to be wild camping and I was starting to keep an eye for camping spots. Luckily for me, some social media research the week prior to the trip really paid off as you will see at the end of the video. nowhere and look at how wide this road is and how good this road is it's crazy after the la2 airport the amount of lakes along the roadside increased and the causeway like roads and the road wrapping around a large lake going into per se were quite spectacular
So, we uh, made it to Brisse, and in the French may not be <laughs> uh, not fluent, but uh, it's basically the last uh, hydro uh, station uh, before the end of the Transtega here. And I uh, came across, I have every intention of making such good time on the road, it was so good. The last couple hundred kilometers has been fantastic. It's been like one of the, some of the best gravel roads to be riding on. It's been so much fun. So I fully intended on going all the way to, uh, to the end. I know there's a camp spot right beside the uh, dam and I was going to dig, you know, uh, camp beside it. But uh, I came through here and I was reading some of the notes and I'd heard from some other people. They have these little lookouts. So you can look out over the, uh, over the power plant and over the, the scenery. And it's all enclosed. My <laughs> Gosh, like five stars. It's not even on the map. This is crazy. <laughs> There's a couple of mosquitoes in here. It's not so bad, but it, uh, the, the main reason I decided not to go on was when I got off the bike here and then went back out to the bike afterwards. Let's see if they're all still there. You gotta see this. This is crazy. I don't know we're going to... Oh. I guess from the heat of the, uh, the motorcycle, the black flies have changed the color of my bike from white to black. I'm not sure you can see that, but I'm trying my best. Oh, there it is. Literally everywhere here. It's, I can't even stand here. Whew, so, it's a nice little picnic area. It's got some, a couple of uh, picnic tables back over here. Garbage. There's a campfire, which I will not be using because I can't stay up here any longer. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, they're in my mouth. Yeah. Brisse. All right, we are here. I gotta get back inside. This is crazy, but look how beautiful, how pretty this thing is. Out here too. Gorgeous. Oh, so. Again, my eyes are everywhere. There's another little lookout over. Okay, it's not so bad over here. This little. Uh, got a garbage, a bench, We've even got a lookout here. Look at this. Looking at this. So, as is going to be it for today, and uh, I'm going to sit down and get some food and uh, make up uh, my cot and I've got my sleeping bag there. I might even just sleep right in one of the chairs. I don't even know yet. So, uh, end of day four, I think. <laughs> so we will get to the Tega tomorrow, to the end of it. And uh, then uh, it'll be hustle on back. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, we will uh, see you tomorrow. Got a little surprise visitor here. Oh, now he spotted me. Leave me alone. It's my dinner time. Leave me alone. never know what's going to happen up here, my goodness. Well, I'll see if I see, if I see him again, I'll put the camera back on, but 
That was pretty neat.